So now what we're going to focus on, is, I don't know if any of you guys compete Thai boxing, but if you ever go to the levels with the elbows, we have to be really mindful of the arms, because so, I see you can get elbowed now. The other thing, I like the arm, one arm controls, better for MMA, and uh, I think it's good for turning as well. So when I'm snaking now, I've got one arm around to the neck control, and then the other hand's going to come peel off onto the arm here. What I'm going to do is cup his tricep, and I want to press my forearm into where's his forearm now, and my elbow's going to be here. The reason for that is if it's my arm's straight, he'll just come straight underneath like this. Whereas if I've got a bent arm, if he tries to come underneath, that's kind of blocking it. If he comes up, the other thing, I, I want that purchase with my elbow underneath because I can lift here and there's obviously like duck unders and all sorts of things that you can do with you MMA guys um, more, more techniques you can do from there this position as well the other person get used to cupping the bicep here because like I just said with the elbows a lot of the guys they forget especially guys from the wrestling background they cut the tricep but the problem is now boom I will elbow Wes so he, he gets used to it there so this now is actively defending so if I try and elbow Wes he pushes against my arm see he blocks it, so he's using this arm as a, as a, a defense here, so it's very important. So then where snake's in, he's gonna snake in, and then you're gonna, there, peel there. So he can relax, you don't have to be tense, you know what I mean? Be nice and relax with it. And then I'll snake, snake's gonna let me, boom, boom, peel. But you get used to this. So when we're drilling as well, you don't, any guys do jujitsu, you don't wanna drill with like the dead body, do you? You know what I mean? So what I mean by that is if, if Wes is doing stuff with me and I'm just flopping around, he tries to grab my arms and stuff, and I'm just kind of like flopping around like this. I want to be like an active body. So I kind of get used to all the time of, the, of being like it's a, a live thing, but without the tension. So I'm not like being a stiff robot here, but I'm nice and relaxed. And then we flow here. Boom, boom. So I'm being a bit of an active partner, just a little bit of resistance, but not so much that Wes is going to wake up like this tomorrow and he can't move his head anymore, yeah? So be aware of that. So one form of your partner is relax, exchanging the grips and get that arm. It's a, just a, a general turn movement. So if I've got Wes now, I'm going to put my left hand on his head and I'm just going to practice turning. So I'm going to do about a 180. My left hand's on his neck, so what I'm going to do is step with my right foot past him. As I do that, I'm going to pull his head towards my hip. So what I'm not doing is pulling him around like this. I'm pulling him down. So I'm going to step, pull, and then I'm going to pivot this back foot all the way around behind me. See here. If I go right side, I'll step the opposite way. I'll go left here. And again, I'm putting his head down, and I always follow with him. So what I mean by that is a lot of the problems is people kind of like run past when they're turning. I want to go with him, so I'm turning him, turning him. So just practice that one for one. Person, go maybe go three or four turns each and then swap. So this one now, the same turn, but I'm going to use the, that grip, the arm grip. So I've got one on the neck, and I've got one on the arm. So I'm going to pull and lift as, as I turn. See, it's got a lot more leverage on the turn there. So it's like a steering wheel action. So I'm pulling and lifting as I step. My hips as well, they want to come in. And this is an important one where I don't like run away from where I turn with him. So as I put his hand down, I turn with him. At the end now, I want to practice the knee. So I'm kneeing with this back leg. So this left leg's boom, I create the space for it. If I go right side, I'm going to step with my left leg and my right leg's going to be the one I'd end up kneeing with. So I'm going to step, pull. This leg's come behind me now and I can knee from there. When I'm kneeing, I'm obviously aiming for Wes's stomach, and I'm gonna do my ballerina's foot, but for the purpose of it, should knee really light, you know what I mean? Get used to kneeing, but knee light. So if I knee Wes, he feels it, but it's not, it's not hard, and I'm not aiming for his ribs either, I'm aiming for his stomach with this one. And when we get into the, the sparring in a bit, that's kind of where we're gonna get used to aiming for with the front knee, the stomach. So step, turn, knee. Swap, step, turn, knee.